I, I, I tell the story to, to the real people that know me. I don't tell too many people. Maybe three people know, so now the world gonna know. But um, ever since I was 13, I was you know in the hood. Mm -hmm. Me and my brother was in the hood, so we was doing what hood people do: getting fast money, mm -hmm. you know, running women the whole nine yards. When I was about 15, my brother got shot about 10 times in his chest. To this day, he has a bullet behind his heart. And he's alive. And he's alive. So that was a test. That started to change. You know, then I seen um, another one of my homeboys I went to, to school with. He got life in prison. He went in at 17. He'll never get out. So between my brother almost getting murdered and him getting shot, I was like, I'm the next. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's only okay. three of us that's running it big. So, so before that happened, I realized I can't work a job. Right. You know, when you're used to making you know, thousands a week, you're not gonna work a job to make nine dollars or ten dollars an hour. Mm -hmm. So the only alternative is to run your own business. So I, I, I figured what can make me money and make me the same type of block money or close to it, mm -hmm. but legally. Mm -hmm. So I started, you know, I went back to school, you know, I started, you know, I went to LSU you just, for business. You just said what I was looking for. You yeah. went back to school. Yeah, I went back to school to learn how to correctly run my business, learn about taxes and you know i have two accountants now and you know i, I talked to a couple lawyers a couple cool brothers that they hit me onto the game mm -hmm. and then I, I started my own business i started making money how long have you had it now i've been doing music i've had my own business for about 12 years about 12 i'm 26 years. so i started when i was like 14 15. now you have another yeah. business too don't you yeah i have a, a film company we're shooting our first movie this summer um, we're blocking down all of Broad Street to shoot it. Um, it's written by our artist Sunday. We have, um, I have the record label, mm -hmm. Xander Records. I have a marketing company, NX Marketing. And Xander's my son, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to Xander. Todd, I love y'all. Um, you know, so I have two studios. What's the a movie marketing about? company and a film. The, the movie is cool. The movie is about these three guys. That, um, they don't know each other. But they go into like rob a convenience store all at the same time. And the police come, so they end up being on the run together. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's so you're you're following their escapades down on the run and kind of getting to know each other, but still time same time trying to you know escape from getting caught. Is there a moral? Yeah, the, the moral in the story don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, you know something. What the, if not that, that just simplifies it right there. That's what we've been trying to explain so, to these young folks for the last fifteen or twenty years, and you just capsulized it by saying, "Don't be stupid." Yeah. Makes all the sense in the yeah. world. Yeah. So, and all the other ways to get money. Now, how how do your peers respond to you, being that you have come out of that and are trying to be? Uh, I've got an amazing response for us being from you know New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Ham, and Shreveport area. When I got here, there was no venues for artists to perform. Right. So I had a studio on Hall Street. A lot of people might remember that right by Church's Chicken. And I built the stage with my money. I bought the PA with my money, and I started throwing shows for everybody in Richmond. I was the first person to bring Northside, Church Hill, Southside together. All everybody together is just doing shows, and mm -hmm. you can you know ask around about it. Um, so. You know, ever from that point, I had a lot of respect in the hood because once again, I'm still from the hood. Mm. You know, I just learned a better way to do it. Mm. So now I got everybody from all coasts because people saying this side don't get along with this side, that side don't get along with that side. I didn't care. I wasn't from here anyway. So yeah. I was in every hood promoting every hood, passing out flyers. And people couldn't do anything but respect it. So that gave them a, a mind like, well, if Omega's doing it, then I can do it. So everybody's out just hustling, trying to better themselves. Now, are you still going to school? No, I'm not going. Actually, I'm going to be going back to school in about another six, seven months. Four. Um, actually, the crazy part about it, I want to go for health care. Yeah, okay. To learn about health care. Nothing to do with music. Not because I, I need the money, I need another job. Just because I'm just curious about how, you know, blood and all that stuff works. Well, you see, curiosity. Now, that's something else. And, we, and again, for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking... Um, I don't know if you've been watching, but I mentioned on one week the reason why my wife and I regenerated our children's magazine is because with all the computer stuff, mm -hmm. young people have lost the ability to imagine. Mm -hmm. There's no imagination because everything you just tap and it all pops up. Yeah. Funny. And a lot of the things that are missing in, in storytelling that we don't get from the, uh, from the computer world is morals, like I just said, the stories that we grew up with, you know, with our parents telling us, and, and ones that a lot of people don't even know came from Africa, Br'er Rabbit, and all of those those stories. Those are all moral stories that gave you some kind of concept of right and wrong, and that's what's missing now. We don't have anything to balance out right and wrong. So what happens is it has to fall to individuals to set examples, and that's what impressed me so much about you guys, your team over there. You guys. 
just those 30 guys with that attitude when they go back out into their community. Mm -hmm. That's 30 people that are going out with that same kind of attitude that you have. Now, let me, let's take it a step further. Being that you are able to cross these bridges and, mm -hmm. and are accepted universally, mm -hmm. are you doing things to bring other young people to this side? Yeah, yeah. Every time I go, like, um, all the time, like when I go, uh, you'll see me back in the hoods, back in North Side, back in Churchill, back in South Side, back in East End, back in everywhere, back in Mosby, you know, pumping this gospel stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, when this gospel compilation come out, you're gonna see me back in the hoods pumping Sunday's album, which is, you know, which is rap. You're gonna see me did, back did in you the hoods bring, doing flyers. Do you have any of his music with you, or can you tell people? Yes, yeah. that's, that's something we'll get to. How did they get? In your yeah, email a hollerback. 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 H a l l a b a k at yahoo dot com. Everybody that emails it during this show, you're gonna get a free copy of Sunday's compilation, a free Xander Records T shirt, and a, a lot more goodies. So, doing this show. Matter of fact, while this show is on the air, you email doing this show. Watch it. Email doing this show. You get free stuff. Okay, they can't. I guess that brings more than his ability to the table. That's all right. We yeah. thank you. Yeah. Now, you mentioned the Boys and Girls Club. Are you doing some things with them yeah. also? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Sarah Amir. Mean, she um, has put this thing together where she's helping the Boys and Girls Club. And she's doing a lot of amazing things. Um, and I'm you know, going to sponsor that. So I'm going to feed the Boys and Girls Club for like five weeks, you know, so why she has a, putting her program together. So, you know, shout out to her, she's doing big things. When you say you're gonna feed, feed them, what do you mean? I mean, I'm gonna feed them, means they're getting pizza shows, they're getting pizza parties, they're getting catered food on my money for the next five years. Is your weeks. organization nonprofit? No, uh, my, my organization isn't nonprofit. Well, listen, if you anybody out there that wants to help this young man help other young people out, help him out, send a check. Yeah. Where, where would they go send it to? Give them your send address. Send it to here. P.O. Box. 24097 Richmond, Virginia 23224 P.O. Box 24097 Richmond, Virginia 23224 because we're feeding them not only them we got some things that we're doing with um, MLK High School where we're doing free benefit shows for them and we're gonna you know we may have that catered and we're gonna do all types of drive to educate people on our AIDS and everything else and once again this has just been no sponsorship just out of my pocket so I think that's that's you to be congratulated. Right. Okay, and I think you you should get some help. So if you folks out there, I know Victims Rights Foundation. We will help you out a little mm -hmm. bit as much as we can. You know, we really deal with victims of violent crime, but this mm -hmm. is kind of preventative. Mm -hmm. And I see what I could do to help you out on that. And also, but anybody out there that might want to take a look at what these young folks are doing, your your uh, website gives a pretty good breakdown. Yeah, nomegastudios.com. Okay, you got that. It's nomega. Spell it for me. Yeah, like Omega, but with an N. N O M E G A Studios. S T U D I O S. Dot com. Okay, and that'll give you the information on, on what these young folks are doing. And kind of, I think if you kind of just pay attention to the newspaper, you're going to start getting a lot of uh, play, people helping you out because of what you're doing. I'm pretty sure of that. Now, you said you had a young person with you. Is, um, did you have a partner come in with you? Uh, yeah, if, um, I, right. I was going to have Sunday here with me. Is he here? Do you know? So, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, he may be out there. All right, I don't know well, if he's back check. there or not. We have to check. We can check and see. All right, now. Being that, that we've kind of established your bona fides, mm. let me ask you a question. If you were in a position like superintendent of schools, let's say, mm -hmm. or, um, yeah, that, that would be a good example. Mm -hmm.